Move over boring kibble. There are some new ways to feed your pet that will have their bellies full and their tails wagging like never before. From food puzzles to breed specific meals, our favorite vet Marty Becker is here to show us all of the new and improved ways to make your pet's meal fun and nutritious. Thanks for joining us again, Marty. Thank you. And we're here with Clark and Clarence of the Humane Society of New York. Aren't they something else? They Clarence are is four months old. These are nine weeks old, and of course, they're always looking for a good home. But nine weeks. Aren't they precious? Beautiful, beautiful green eyes. Isn't that neat. I could talk forever about. These little guys, but let's talk about food because the first thing, obviously, we, we all know that we want to give our pets nutritious meals, but it's not just about putting kibble in the bowl. There's a lot more to it. A lot of things have changed. You know, you always think, well, get up in the morning and pour the pet's food in the bowl, and it takes them two or three minutes to eat, and then they're done. It's humans that decided that pets should eat kibble oh, and sorry, eat out Clarence of a. You okay, there, kid? Uh, should eat <laughs> kibble and then eat out of a bowl. This is a real breakthrough. It's called Whole Meals. It's a single piece meal. And a single piece meal, everything is nutritionally complete in this meal, but they use used uh, they used biometric studies of studying how dogs like to chew they used uh, behaviorists and ethologists and they figured out that there's let's try hang here. on a second let's, <laughs> let's, let's try this okay okay as a veterinarian we'll see I don't if think this it's works. me I think it's Clark okay hold uh, on okay there you go Clarence. All right. a single piece meal isn't that a good transfer huh? <laughs> and he matches better with my shirt anyway a, a so single piece it. meal and the good thing about this is they're happier so rather than eating out of a bowl bend over it they'll take it they'll lay down they'll hold it vertically up there and it'll take them four times longer to eat but what it does there's an 80 83% reduction in plaque and tartar by feeding the whole meals just over three months. So it's 100% nutritionally complete. It's a taste they love. They love chewing on it. Four times longer, 83% reduction in plaque and it tartar. Makes the food sort of last yeah. longer. Is this a new thing on the market? Brand new. Brand and I new. feed my own pets this in the morning, and they raise Great. up, and they're like two little lipazon or stallions, and they grab it like they rip the leg off a rabbit, <laughs> and away they go, very happy. I like that it's very transportable. You know, you don't yeah. have to bring kibbles in plastic yeah. bags. It's one little bar. And no it's like a, you know, It's like a candy bar. Mm -hmm. Good to go. All right, so the next thing we're going to talk about is breed-specific foods. I didn't know this existed. Oh, this is crazy. There is foods in this line. This is called Royal Canaan is the line. Uh, but they have foods in here like for chihuahuas, like this little guy right here, they get something called lux heading patellas. Their kneecaps move over. It actually has something in there to help keep the weight off them so they don't have trouble with their kneecaps. Uh, for the Maine Coon Cat, it has something in here to help them apprehend the food easier because of the shape of their face. For Siamese cats, there's specific diets uh, for Siamese that makes their coats brighter. Hmm. Uh, for Bulldogs, again, they have that very pushed-in face there, so they have a kibble design for them to apprehend it, not have the skin problems. Yeah. Uh, even your beautiful curly hair, do you mind if I mention another food? <laughs> no. <laughs> they have a food for poodles right. that actually makes their hair curly. It works on the sulfur bonds in their hair. So there's so much science has gone into what diseases do they get, what conditions, and now we have foods that will help prevent those problems or help treat so those. So if I eat the poodle food, will it help my you're, curls? Yeah, yeah you, you eat the Royal Canaan poodle food, you're really going to be curly hair. They should have human hair. food for curly-haired <laughs> girls and guys. Cool stuff. It's neat. I, I had no idea that stuff existed. Now here's something. This is a field called nutrigenomics, and this food right here is actually something for arthritis. And we hmm. think of arthritis, we think of giving uh, non anti-inflammatory drugs like they do. But those decrease pain and inflammation. What this food does, it actually shuts off the gene that causes the damage in the joint, so the joint can actually repair itself. So clinically proven in three weeks to dramatically reduce arthritis. Called shuts down the gene. Shuts down the gene. Actually, the National Institutes of Health are studying some of the applications where humans might be able to benefit from food products. The food down here, uh, Hills Prescription Diet ND, actually is used to treat pests with cancer. Right. So if they're, if they're used chemotherapy plus the food, they're going to live about 35% longer because of the food. Uh, again, these are new breakthroughs in nutrition? Or? New kind of foods you get from your veterinarian. Wow. It's, ama it's amazing. I mean, it really this is what is. we call an espresso kind of dog. I like that. <laughs> Why is he? Is he cold or is he nervous? Well, he every, so every, or is every, it the cat? everybody has a joke. We always say, you know, never trust a dog that shivers in a warm right. room. But these are like espresso yeah. breeds. They're just right. kind of a nervous little I breed. I shiver in so a warm <laughs> room, but you can trust me. Okay, this is really neat. I like this. This is sort of a dispensing food. If you're away, it'll do it automatically. Well, 66% of Americans are overweight or obese. 50% of America's pets are overweight or obese. The very worst thing you can ever do is feed free choice. What I like you to do is use something like this uh, from the Bistro from PetMate, it actually measures out the food. So you can dial in how much food you want to feed your pet and it'll feed up to three times a day. So if you're gone or traveling, so it's healthier for them That's to actually great. eat multiple meals anyway. So it's just a real attractive, convenient way through the PetMate La Bistro. Did you say 50% of Americans have obese pets? 66% of Americans and 50% of their pets are overweight or obese. Wow, that is some so statistic. It's a real problem of feeding them, feeding them differently, measuring their food out, more activity. So and this is the, this is the food dispenser, but in terms yeah. of water, do you just leave water? Water, bowls uh, water fountains are what's really good because, especially on cats, cats are chronically dehydrated, so water fountains help keep them, you know, it's fresh water, so again, 
and pet mate makes a nice water fountain, good for dogs and cats. Do cats get more dehydrated than dogs? Would yes, you say? yeah, they definitely yeah. do. Okay. Now here's a real breakthrough. Uh, pet mate has this line of products that has microban in it, and microban is this brand new product that's actually infused into the plastic, so it's not painted on. It doesn't wash off or anything. It doesn't come off if they chew it, but it prevents the growth of bacteria, moles, and fungus. So instead of those gunky dishes, it's just a new breakthrough. As long as we're talking about feeding pets, that you can actually get products that are easier that's to keep great. clean. And I like that it's not in the plastic. Yeah. It's, wow. Very good. Good stuff. What about this one? Well, you know, we feed our pedigree. You know, at night I use the, the I said the whole meals in the morning. In the afternoon, I feed pedigree, but I do not feed out of a bowl like this. What I feed is using food puzzles, really? and you know, dogs used to spend sixty percent of their waking hours in pursuit of food. You know, and, and I live out in North Idaho. You never see a waddling wolf or a you know, corpulent coyote. I mean, they're not right. fat. They always wake up thinking, "I'm hungry," right? right? So off they go. Sixty percent of their waking hours spent in pursuit of food, and it's us that decided that we would dumb it down to a kindergarten level and just pour the food in the bowl and let them eat. So here's a whole variety of food puzzles and what you do is you measure out the amount of food you're going to feed it. Hold still Clarence. <laughs> Almost you, done. And, and you really just, you measure the food out and you put it inside these different food puzzles right here. Hold still Clarence. <laughs> We're about done old buddy. And you know you would actually measure out a certain amount but you drop it in there and then what they do it's like enrichment activities. You know, zoos of 30 or 40 years ago, we thought we're going to feed them, we're going to give them water and veterinary care, and that was enough. And then pretty soon we figured out we needed enrichment activities. And they actually Gotta make them. challenge them. You have to earn your food. Exactly. So what I like to do is use a variety of food puzzles. And so, you know, one week I'm going to use this one. And Clarence, actually, Clarence, this little size right here is probably one right. we'd use for you. But you notice when I picked that up, a little piece of that kibble came out. So they'll take these toys, they'll drop them, they'll maneuver them, they'll spin them around and manipulate them. I like that. So it takes memory, it takes skill, it takes manipulation, and they like to have to earn to get their food. I think humans should have to earn to get their food. <laughs> <laughs> you know, earn their meals. Well, thank you so much, Dr. You're Becker. welcome, Clarence. Thank you, Clark. Thank you, Clark. Thank you, Clarence. Should we just let them go free at this point? <laughs> I'm going to hold on to this guy. All of these are awesome. And if you want to adopt a pet just like this one here, Clark, be sure to check out the Humane Society of New York at humanesocietyny.org. And if you pet lovers out there want to find a list of everything we showed you today, all you have to do is go to our website, abcnewsnow.com, click on the GMA Now logo. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching, Clark.